Let's look at the topic two, that is human resource planning process. When it comes to human resource planning process, uh, how exactly the human resource planning has to be done? What are the kind of an activity has to be conducted? That's what exactly human resource planning process that talks about. Human resource planning actually happens at different levels, both at the you know corporate level, intermediary level, uh, as well as at the operational level. And when it comes to corporate level, overall organization, what is the kind of a way it is going to grow? And in terms of the size and in terms of the kind of a, you know business and what is the way actually you know the goal, it will move from one goal to another goal. That's what exactly corporate level the HR department has to do in kind of a planning. The second kind of a planning is about your intermediary kind of a planning. Intermediary planning, it talks about uh, what are the kind of ways actually, you know, we need to align the departmental goals and make sure that how the structure has to be worked out and what is the way the overall organization structure has to, you know, probably meet the organization goal. And ultimately, what is the kind of, you know, way we can come out of the, um, uh, what do you call it, as overall aligning of the goals and uh, reward systems and systems and other things and all and third comes your operational level planning operational level planning talks about you know manpower planning and then uh, you know the cost associated with that and what is the kind of you know benefits we provide and all other operational and transactional related planning and uh, the next comes your planning on the short term kind of an activities when it comes to short term kind of an activities planning is all about uh, within a short span of time if we get more orders how do we try to you know probably work out a fixed strategy what is the kind of way actually you know we can work out and temporary staff through that you know we can able to manage the entire event very well so that's what exact, exactly it talks about so coming to the organization human resource planning it's all about organization plan and objectives and how do we try to identify the future human resource requirement and compare with the current kind of an hr inventories look at it actually you know what is the kind of a number we require at different level and the criticality of the vacancies and analyze the cost and time involved in managing the demand and choose the resources and methods of recruitment on the other side if you look into it the redundant numbers if you have more than you know required what is the kind of a cost is involved and what is the time uh, required for managing the surplus and we need to you know probably look at about how do we can do a redeployment of the same resources to some other places or probably we can go ahead with the retrench kind of a process now let's try to look at it uh, signing a current human resource and making an inventory uh, assessing the current human resource and uh, how do we try to you know probably work out the inventory basically you know it's been done by uh, you know time to time in more normally at every quarter level they'll be doing it it's like a job analysis trying to do a job analysis and by doing a job analysis we'll come to know exactly the hr inventories as to for what kind of a job what is the number of people and what is the kind of a skill set we do have so that we can maintain an accurate kind of an information in the form of an you know information system that's called as hris otherwise known as human resource information system through that we try to you know probably plot it or through that you know we try to you know manage that and generate a fairly accurate kind of a picture about the existing kind of a situation so that we'll come to know the exact competency mapping very well and the next comes you know the forecasting part of it compare the future needs with the current availability and uh, what are the kind of you know requirement is there in the future and how do we try to you know probably analyze the company's the change plan as to what kind of a game plan the company is going ahead with and you need to forecast the method as to what is the kind of an you know opportunity might come in and what are the kind of a requirement of uh, manpower is required and how is the skill set is enabled and ultimately if you look at it using a time series analysis or regression analysis or a productivity ratios we can try to you know probably work out and so that you know we can overall improve the efficiency part of it so that's the way actually forecasting has to be done so on the first if you look into it we do have our own hr inventory the second if you have you know the forecasting part of it now we try to compare the both and if we match the present inventory with the future requirement if the current inventory exceeds the future requirement then you know what is the kind of steps has to be taken can we allow them naturally uh, you know through the what you call it as uh, nat natural attrition process no the natural attrition process alone will not uh, you know help you out in balancing the workforce or an excess of workforce so what has to be considered then in that case you know we may have to work out and managing and forecast demand and surplus uh, surplus by managing the future demand and managing a future surplus and both has to be you know aligned properly so in a in a 
in a simple sentence dealing with the surplus uh, manpower we can come out with an retrenchment uh, we can ask some of the employees who are not very potential or who are not very productive we can lay them off that's one of the kind of a strategy other kind of a strategy is outplacement important kind of an activities we can outsource to some other uh, you know uh, what you call it as uh, outside agencies through that you know we don't need to recruit a new kind of a people and we can come out of the layoffs we can ask them to you know probably uh, those who voluntarily wants to you know leave they can can leave and uh, we can also come out of the leave for uh, you know probably uh, for the employees can be announced without a pay and we can provide them a loan or probably loaning part of it we try to you know uh, try to take up the kind of an activities and uh, we can share the work with uh, other third parties or with the existing employees we try to you know probably allocate more and more works and work hours can be reduced by reducing a work hours you know automatically what happens is uh, they will feel boredom and they will start looking out any other places and um, you know very popular kind of a method is your vrs schemes uh, i hope all of you might be pretty familiar with how our banks and you know public sector units and all come out of the voluntary retirement schemes so early voluntary retirement scheme itself we can come out with what you call vrs and these are the other ways of you know managing the excess of surplus of kind of you know manpower and another thing is like uh, attrition rates try to you know probably allow the attrition to happen automatically in that process even the good employee will leave and go but doesn't matter but you know we need to maintain and then we need to make sure that you know right kind of an employee has been retained and uh, you know unproductive kind of an employee or probably you know the workforce can be you know removed through this kind of methods so these are the ways actually you know we can work out a different kind of mechanisms and uh, today if you look into it uh, human resource planning is uh, increasingly you know uh, 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 the importance has been increased and uh, we need to prepare for the global changes because every time you know the global recession might happen according to the global recessions we may have to manage our present uh, you know team and other than that we need to satisfy the stakeholders how we can you know probably existing stakeholders can be satisfied very well and motivate them and provide a monetary value to each kind of an hr activity so that we'll come to know that what is the kind of a cost is involved and remember that four rs you know uh, like all your right number right skill right time and right cost so these are the four hours you know we need to keep in uh, in mind and then accordingly human resource planning has to be done